Hello and welcome to 3D Drawing for Your Model Railway. In today's lesson I'm going to show you how to draw some buffers. I'm going to use two methods, one using the revolve and the other building it up from um, individual elements. So, okay, so let's get started. Okay, so there's a couple of ways we can draw a buffer. I'm going to show you, um, to start with, how to do uh, the buffer using the revolve method. So we'll create a sketch on the side profile. Um, and I'm going to start by drawing it square. So I'm going to come up by one millimeter, zoom in up by one. I'm going to come across by 0 0.3 millimeters. Uh, I can draw a line down 0 0.5 millimeters. And then a line across um, by one millimeter. Line up by 0 0.2 millimeters. Another line along one millimeter. And then a line up by 0 0.1 millimeters. And then a line along again by one millimeters. Bring that down to the same height as the origin. And then across. To the origin. Okay, so most this is obviously is, would give you a flat buffer face, um, and most of them have a curved face. So I'm just going to use a spline point and I'm just going to bring that in slightly. Click on OK, and then I can escape to the normal cursor and just apply a slight curve to it. Now, if you know that the radius you wanted, you could use an arc to achieve the same to, same thing there. Okay, I'm going to fix that in place. Okay, and then you would just right click, that's uh, why escape that. You would finish your sketch and then use your revolve tool, select the profile, select the axis being the bottom line, and then click on OK, and that gives you your buffer shape. Now, you could do things like Taking a fillet off of these to give them a bit of a smoother edge. It depends on the actual model that you're looking at. You obviously, you detail it how you want. You'd also want to draw backplate on here. Now obviously, because you're doing a revolve, it's not particularly conducive to doing a rectangle. It's more circles. So you would just draw a sketch on the back place, center point, rectangle. And then that would be the dimensions you would want your back plate to be, so say two millimeters by three millimeters. Select the whole of the surface, right click, extrude, and then extrude that back. Maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.4 millimeters, depending on what's required on your printer. And then you'd have your, your buffer. Um, it's quite a basic design. You could also do things like putting a rib on the side here. So if we were to draw um, on, so I get the surface there I'm after, draw on that surface which is in the centre of the buffer, um, you could draw a triangle shape like that, and then use your coincident constraints to snap it to the faces. This one won't snap to a, cir a circular face, so you could drag that in like that, draw a line, snap it to there, and then dimension that. I'm just picking random dimensions, sorry, random dimensions there, just give you an example. And then right click extrude and if you do your extrusion being symmetrical if we rotate it around so you can see what happens and then tell it to join you've then got your your rib shape there and if you wanted to you could mirror sorry change that to features mirror that feature across 
the centre mirror pane and click on OK and then you've got your, your rib on both sides. Obviously the dimensions I've picked there are purely based off of the top of my head. Obviously if you've got scale plans that you're working to, that would be great. Um, if you've got photos, that's just as good as well. Um, but the scale plans would really give you that, that detail that you're looking for. Um, so that's one way of doing um, a base, drawing a basic buffer. Okay, so the other way of drawing a buffer is to build it up from individual elements. So we'll create a sketch on this plane here. We'll use the center point rectangle again. And we'll define it as two millimeters by by three millimeters. Zoom in. Okay, and then we can extrude that by 0.4 millimeters. Okay, so that gives us the back plate. Then we can work off of that face using the center point circle, bringing it out to so 1.5 millimeters, and then extrude that one millimeter, and then you can draw again on that face, and then center point circle and then do 1.3 millimeters so it's like smaller and then extrude that by one millimeter now the reason you might want to choose this method is depending on your your buffer face now some buffers have rectangular surfaces so you could do again your center point rectangle and then you'd have your buffer head uh, say three millimeters by five millimeters. Again, I'm just completely picking. That's probably a bit big actually. Let's go for four millimeters by That's it. Still probably a bit big. Let's go three three by two, and then you'd use it the same size that back plate. Okay, and then you could extrude. So go back into the sketch. And then you could some the rec, more rectangular ones might have slightly curved. Let's go start that again. Just, they might have slightly curved edges, so you could just curve the corners out like this. Selecting so those fillets. The errors are because the dimension across the top is now missing this corner because I've just reduced it in. It's not something you need to worry about because it automatically works out, but you can, what you can do, I'll show you is go back up here, delete your constraints there, and then add them back in. works all back out again okay and then you could extrude that so you can select both parts extrude that buffer face out say 0.4 millimeters okay and then the last way i'm going to I won't say that i'll just go back through those sketches i'm doing those elements let's get rid of that face so the last way you could create a buff face is using the ellipse so you start by drawing the ellipse on the center point, drag it out to the side point, and then your top point. Okay, you can define distances, same as normal, go from your center point to the edge, and then extrude. Like so, and then you've got your buffer face that's overall in shape. Okay, and then if you needed to draw it with a curved face, just create a construction plane that sits outside the distance of the buffer, draw on that construction plane, a line, go like that, and we'll define the distance from there to the center point as 1.2 millimeters and then do the same from center point to the end point 1.2 millimeters 
the reason you define these distances is so that when we go into the arc and do the three point arc and you define you pick up two endpoints and then drag out you want the distances to be the same so the arc is even on both sides if you add like say 1.5 millimeters at the top and only one millimeter at the bottom you'd have more of the arc on the top half than you at the bottom so you just create your arc there and then turn that into a bit of a rectangle so that it lines up like that it doesn't have to be perfect because all you're going to do is extrude across the face it skims off the front surface and then you've got your arc shape going across the oval okay um, now obviously you wouldn't be able to do an ellipse shape using the um, revolve method which is why building the buffer up this way might be the best option or build up the bottom half of the buffer leave the face off and then use the ellipse to create the face afterwards okay um, you could also trim off the back of the face if you wanted to you'd have to create the, the buff face as a whole new body and then join that in afterwards okay if you have any questions about how to use the revolve to create buffers or how to add in the rib to anything like that please leave a comment below um, hope you enjoyed today's lesson if you've got any questions as i say please leave a comment below and please like and subscribe to the videos thanks for watching